50, not 65. How many? 65. So we've got a new plantation on the other side that's maybe, I don't know, five, five years old maybe. And then we've got the old, the old trees here as well. And there's some wind damage where they've cut the old forest down as well, which is quite interesting as you can see like some of the new foliage coming through as well as some wild flowers. We're going to cross uh, a route where the mountain bikes come down. They come down very fast. That's really the only hazard that we have today. Well, it's my first time in Scotland actually, and I really like this uh, part of the country. So, uh, very beautiful forests, and nature, and the way of uh, lifestyle. We compared uh, what we have seen here and what we have in China. And also we also think about why uh, what we have in China is different. What's the main reasons like policies or, or the monitor systems and so on. While we're in the Dunkeld area, we're going to be travelling out to Craig Vinian, which is a forestry commission estate where it's a working forest. They've got plantations that were planted in the 1950s, 1960s. It's a mixed tree species composition. It's a, it's a really beautiful day. It's not freezing cold, the wind's blowing a bit, but uh, in Scotland, that's probably par for the course. It's a highly productive forest. We're right next to the A9, which is a major trunk road in Scotland, so we have good access to the sawmills, so it ends up as sawn material for house building, construction, and we're producing, on average, about 19,000 tonnes per year of freshly felled timber. Ah, oh, that's looking good. Yeah, that's it, look at that. There we are. Yeah, no, you can feel it doing you good already. What have you taken from the last few days? I think the, the, the great advantage of the NGP meeting is the opportunity to uh, work with people from across the, the world that have come to, to discuss these same issues. Uh, the perspectives are very different uh, and that's helpful for anyone that works in a particular area. So these estates are really good, partly because they do integrated land use really well, but also because they ha always have a long-term vision. Because it's in family ownership, they're expecting to pass it to their children and their grandchildren, so they are thinking in very long timescales, in a way that even the State Forest Service doesn't manage to do, because for them, forestry policy changes with every new government. And it's possible to get natural regeneration. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you don't have deer, yes. or very very low numbers of deer, okay. um, and this actually needs weeded as well. Yeah. Uh, are there some wolves here? No. Ah, some wolves. No wolves in Scotland yet. Uh -huh. no, maybe in the future, but not yet. This is a good learning experience, and uh, as soon as we are back home, we should not uh, uh, rest. We need to get the ball rolling. I think NGP has a great opportunity to broaden its participation, not only uh, in where it's operating now, but other parts of the world. And that's really the, the task that NGP has over the next decade, is to broaden that participation and find ways to bring in all the stakeholders, whether it's large industry or small planted landowners, and how to recognize the value of planted forests in not only the regional but the global uh, environment that we work in.